everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dovey and today I'm going to show you how to make a Snapchat filter, particularly this one that you see on the screen here where it has the balloons and the banner and then it says Victoria's first birthday. So in order to see how I created this, then continue watching. To get started, I'm going to go up to the file menu and I'm going to select new. And then I do want the width to be 1080 pixels and I do want the height to be 1920 pixels and I do want the resolution to be at 300 and the background must be transparent for snapchat filters and then I'm going to select create. There are some guidelines that you will need to follow in order to um, create these and then to get them approved after they're submitted and I will leave a link down below in the description box on where you can read a bit more details about that. Um, but the filters, uh, Snapchat says that there should be a 149 pixel a safe area at the top and bottom of the filter. So I'm just going to go ahead and set some guides that way I will know that um, to not put any of my important information in those areas. Now I'm going to go up to view and I'm going to select new guide. I'm going to put it select horizontal and I want it to be at 149 but I don't want it to be inches. I want to change that to a px for pixels and it will put my safe guide in there and I'm going to put another one at the bottom and I'm going to new guide horizontal I'm, I want it to be, since it's coming from the bottom, I have to subtract that from the actual um, height of my document. So I'm going to put it at 1771 px. There we go. So I have my safe guide at the top and the bottom of my uh, file here. I am going to change the layer one to background. And now I'm going to insert the balloons in. And to see how I made these balloons, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box on my video to show you how I made them. Now I'm going to bring in my balloons. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to select Place Link. And I'm going to select my hot pink balloon and select the check mark. File, Place Link, Purple. I'm going to do the same thing for all three colors. So I have my hot pink, purple, and turquoise. And I'm going to select all layers of those and just resize them by holding the shift button down and dragging from the top corner. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer and bring that to the bottom of the palette and change that to background because my background layer disappeared there. And I actually, I'm just going to make it a light gray color for now that way I can see the white as I'm working here. I'm just going to rearrange the balloons. You can rearrange them however you would like. But I'm going to rearrange my balloons. Oh. Don't want to do that. I'm just rearranging them by rotating them. I want to bring my hot pink layer to the front, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag that layer to the top there. And I'm just rotating these balloons. There we go. I, I, there, that is good. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to select all three of these layers of the balloon layers and I'm going to go ahead and hit control G and I'm going to group them into a folder and I'm going to call that balloons. And those are still a bit big so I'm going to make sure my balloons group is set and I do have it set up here to at the top part of the screen. You can either select group or layer. I do have it on group. So whenever I move my balloons around, they will move in a group. If it was set to layer, then only one balloon in that group would move around. So I'm going to select my control, my shift, I'm going to select my shift button, and I'm going to drag the one of the outer corners to make it a bit smaller. 
Now I want to duplicate these balloons, so I'm just going to right click that and select duplicate group. Select OK. It's the balloon copy. And now I'm just going to go ahead and move that onto the opposite side over here. And I'm going to go up here to edit and select transform and then flip horizontal. So now we have the balloons. Now I'm going to select both groups together and I'm going to align these and make sure that they, like the top, align with each other. So do, by doing that, you'll go up here to your top menu and you are going to select the very first button and it says align top edges. And there they are aligned. Now I am going to group these together now while they're both selected. I'm going to select Control G and group them all balloons in one folder and call that balloons. I'm going to select the blue la the balloon layer and the background layer and now I'm going to make sure that the balloons are centered onto the background. And I do that also by going up here to the top menu and selecting the align horizontal centers, which is the one, two, three, four, the fifth one in from the left. And I'm going to so now they are horizontally centered into the um, image here. So now I want to add text. I'm going to change my color to the color I want it. In purple, that's fine. I'm going to change, oh, actually I want it to be, yeah, purple. I'll keep it as purple. Make sure my text tool is selected here in the left-hand menu bar. My font I'm going to use is Bubblegum Sans. And my font, I'm going to have that be about 15. And then I'm just going to type in Uh, let's say Victoria's Victoria's I'm going to move that to where I want to go and I do want to put um, and I do want to put a little white stroke on that so that way it's a little bit easier to see um, when there's a photo behind it and I'm going to go to the text layer over here that says Victoria's double click the layer and then select stroke. Um, the size is going to be one. I want it to be on the outside and I want the color to actually be white. Okay, so Victoria's. Now I'm just going to duplicate this layer that way I don't have to add the those same effects to any more text and I'm just going to go ahead and drag that down to the new layer and duplicate that and just drag the new layer down. And I'm just going to rename this as say first birthday. Okay. And now I'm going to select both of those layers and just hold down the shift button and then drag the top one of the outer corners to just resize that text. And I actually want the stroke just to be a bit bigger, so I'm going to actually change that to be about three. Three's good. Let me just go ahead and change that stroke on that one too to three. Now I'm going to group those two layers, those two text layers, the Victoria's and the first birthday together into a folder, and I'm going to select Control G and group them. Now I want to make sure that this is centered, so I'm going to make sure I'm going to rename this text to text, select that folder and the background, and then align horizontal. Okay, and then just kind of put it where you would want it to go. All right, so that's looking good so far. Okay, so now I want to add my banner, and also I have a link down below on, to a video to show you how I made this banner. So you can click that to learn how. And I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to select Place Link. I'm going to find my banner, and I'm going to select the check mark for OK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just rotate that banner to go about like that. So, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to need to turn off the background layer because the file does need to have a 
completely transparent background. Um, and this will need to be saved as a PNG file because that's the only uh, file that can be saved with the, the um, transparent background. And that is the file that Snapchat, um, that is the file format that they accept is the PNG file. So I'm going to go up here to click File and then click Save As. And I'm going to save it into um, this folder here and I'm going to call it um, birthday snapchat filter balloons and make sure to save it as a PNG file and then I'm going to click save okay so let me show you what this will look like um, with a photo in it so I'm just going to go ahead and put my select this background um, layer even though it is um, turned off that way whenever I bring in my um, that way whenever I bring in my picture it will actually go right above that background layer so I'm going to go to file going to place select place link and find a picture of the girl that I want to go in there and just rearrange that So that is what it would look like um, with a photo behind it. And if, um, it's going to be, you know, your Snapchat photos that you take that will be behind this um, little filter here. So I will, of course, have a link down below on where you would go to submit your Snapchat filter um, to Snapchat. And they do charge a small fee um, to, to get one uploaded to them. But I think it's really cute, and I think it's a great um, personal touch to any birthday party or, say, a wedding or a baby shower. And also, I do create some Snapchats, and I do sell them in my Etsy shop. And if you'd like to check those out, I will put a link down below um, to where you can check them out and purchase them. If you just don't feel like making one of these, if you feel like it's a bit more complicated than it needs to be, I do have some available for sale. So, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That way you can check out all my new videos that I put up. And also, um, if you'd like to see more video tutorials, go ahead down below and comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.